Hey guys, it's the JBoyL9 here, and this is going to be my plush collection video of 2022. So make sure you like and subscribe for new plush videos. Anyways, let's get into it. So first, we're gonna get into the Mario's. So first we got is the 2009 New Super Mario Bros. Wii plush, aka my first plush to get, and a custom Mario Party 5 plush. Next, we got the All-Star Mario plush from 2019, and I use this in my videos. Next, we got the All-Star Fire Mario plush, and I actually kind of like this one better than this one because it's much more cleaner, if you know what I mean. Next, we got is the All-Star Metal Mario plush, and I love this so much because of the fabric and just the way it looks. Next, we got is a Cat Mario plush. I think this is Sané because this was made in 2014. Next, we got a 2019 Mario Maker Mario plush, which is actually from Mario Maker 2. And we got a World of Nintendo Penguin Mario. And here's a 2013 Tanuki Mario plush. And here's the older World of Nintendo Mario plush. The new ones are a bit bigger. We also got an older World of Nintendo Fire Mario. Here's a 2014 New Super Mario Bros. U Flying Squirrel Mario plush. Sané Baby Mario. The Dr. Mario World Dr. Mario plush. A big pillow Mario plush I got from Walmart. This one's a custom. Here's the SMG4 Mario plush. I'm gonna tell you how this was made. So last year on my birthday, my cousin got me this Mario riding on Yoshi plush. The next thing I did was separated the Mario and the Yoshi. And then when I got home, I turned this into a Mario Party 5 Mario, but not SMG4 yet. And in my opinion, I think it actually looked good. And then this year, I painted it and it, I turned it into SMG4. Next we got is the Luigi's. So first we got my first Luigi plush, the Goldie Luigi, and I know it's wrecked up and nose is cut off and I'll tell you why. Next one's the 2019 All-Star Luigi plush, which is what I use in my videos. And then I think this is a Sané Luigi, I don't know. I ordered this in 2018 because I wanted a better Luigi. Okay, now the story why Luigi's nose is cut off. So last year in 2021, I had to make the nose a bit smaller because I was mainly redesigning this as a Mario Party 5 Luigi plush. But then I made the nose a bit smaller because the Mario Party 5 plushies have like smaller noses. So I decided to cut off the nose and put it on this one and I actually kind of feel kind of dumb for doing that. Then we got the 2013 Kitsune Luigi, 2014 Cat Luigi, Super Mario Maker Builder Luigi plush. This thing used to be sewn here but it kind of just fell off. And then we got the Sané Baby Luigi plush. And a custom Mario Party 5 Luigi plush, which used to be a Luigi riding on yellow Yoshi. And now we're gonna move on to the princesses, and I actually don't have a lot. So here we got All-Star Peach, All-Star Baby Peach, All-Star Daisy, All-Star Baby Daisy, All-Star Rosalina, All-Star Baby Rosalina. That went quick, now we're gonna move on to the Yoshis. First we got my first ever Yoshi plush to get was Pink Yoshi, also known as the World of Nintendo Pink Yoshi, the old one. Then we got the older Red Yoshi plush, I forget, is this Sani I think? Then we got the All-Star Orange Yoshi plush. And this is the Yellow Yoshi plush that was like from Luigi riding on Yellow Yoshi. Then we got the All-Star Yoshi plush. The Mario Riding on Yoshi Yoshi plush. It's a new World of Nintendo Yoshi plush. And I forget where this is from. So I got it from this big mall. I don't want to mention it. And when I got him, the tag said like new Super Mario Bros. Like the one from the DS. So I think on that store they were selling like rare plushies. I don't know. Maybe this is rare. I mean, I'm not 100% sure because I found this in stores. And also, I use this in videos. Then we got the All-Star Purple Yoshi. And the All-Star Black Yoshi plush, which I used to use in my videos. Maybe he'll return, who knows. Now we're going to the Toads, this is gonna be quick. Here we got the All-Star Toad. All-Star Blue Toad. 
All-Star Yellow Toad Plush, All-Star Toadette, I forget if this is All-Star or Sani, but it, here's a Captain Toad Plush, and there's a mark on him because I made a video about Captain Toad getting cut in head in 2020, but you can't really see it because it's from 2020, and I made this only private to myself. Alright, now we're moving on to Bowser and the Koopalings. So first we got my very first Bowser, the Jumbo Bowser plush. Then we got the Puppet Bowser, the All-Star Bowser plush, and a Build-A-Bear Bowser which I only hang up on my roof. Okay, now to the Koopalings. So first we got an All-Star Bowser Jr. This goofy, all looking Jr. plush. Okay, I was actually pretty upset when I got this. So in May 2020, I wanted to order the Santa Jr. plush. I forget what website we used, but we ordered it. It took three months to come in. And I literally could not wait because I wanted to get the Santa Jr. And then on August, this is what I got. And yes, this is not the story. The, the eye rails actually came blue gun. And the mouth on the bib is printed. And the shell spikes are display. So yeah, not recommended. And then next I got another Bowser Jr. plush. It was a bootleg again. But to be honest, this actually isn't a bad bootleg. If you ever tried ordering the Sané Jr. plush and you got this, I wouldn't be too disappointed. But for now on, I think if you want to find a Sané Jr. plush, you'll have to find one on eBay and they'll cost like $300 because it's so rare now. And next we got an all-star or Sani Larry. I think all the cool planes are Sani. Then I got Roy, Lemmy, Wendy, Iggy, Morton, which was the last cool plane I got, and Ludwig. These two were my first cool planes to get, by the way. And this is my most favorite Bowser plush, the all-star dry Bowser. When this was like available to pre-order, I thought this looked pretty ugly, but now that I have it, I think it looks awesome. Okay, that's all the Bowsers and the Kooplings, now we're moving on to enemies and extra Mario characters. First we got the Sanai Shy Guy, Sanai or All-Star Lakitu, All-Star Dry Bones, Sanai Mecha Koopa, All-Star Hammer Bro, I think this is an All-Star. But anyways, this is Kamek, or Magic Koopa, Sané Goomba, All-Star Chain Chomp, Sané Cheap Cheap, All-Star Donkey Kong, Sané Diddy Kong, this is actually one of my first Mario plushies to get, I still have the tag on there luckily, and it's from 2011. World of Nintendo Blue, All-Star Birdo, I searched up if Birdo was a Yoshi and it said not, so she's uh... We got an All-Star bob on Sané Wario, All-Star Paratrooper plush, and it has a hang string on it. This is a bootleg Waluigi. Maybe I'll get the All-Star one too. All-Star Wiggler, All-Star Bullet Bill, which you saw in The Biggest Scam. Go check it out, it's a great movie I made. All-Star Koopa plush. And yes, I know, you're wondering, why, it, why does it look so different? Well, this is my OC, and this is what I use as myself, so yeah. I sewed the headband on, so you can't really, like, see what it looks like, really. All-Star Cappy Plush. I don't know if this is Sané or All-Star, but here's a blooper plush. Keychain Boot Plush, and I cut off the keychain. And I got a beaten up Piranha Plant Plush. And later this summer, I got a new Piranha Plant. Those are all the other Mario plushies. Now we're gonna move on to the items and then we're moving on to other video game character plushies. First we got World of Nintendo Shell plush and it makes a noise. Next we got World of Nintendo Mushroom plush and it makes a noise. It makes a one-up noise soon. There you go. It constantly makes noise, so that's why I just keep the voice box off. Next we got a club Machi Machi question block plush. Then we got a club machi machi mushroom plush and it used to have a keychain on it but I cut it off. We also got a club machi machi red shell plush and it also used to have a keychain on it but I cut it off. 
bootleg fire flower plush, but I don't really care because it's a fire flower and I don't think there's an official plush. If there is, let me know, but I'm probably I'm probably not gonna get it. And then last we got a poison mushroom plush and it's custom. I got the template off of this guy, so go subscribe to him. Okay, that's all the Mario plushies related stuff I got. Now we're moving on to other video game character plushies, and that will be Pokemon. First we got a Relu plush. Next we got a talking Pikachu plush. Then we got an Eevee plush, I forgot who made this. Then we got Pancham, Pichu, Alone Raichu, Scobble, Scorbunny, and Grookey. Next we got my first Pokemon plush, or first Pikachu plush. This one with its eyes closed. Okay, I forgot this Pokemon's name, so just tell me in the comments who this Pokemon's name is. I also forget this one as well. I used to know who it was, but I kind of forget now. All I know is that if you involve it, it'll turn into Incineroar. So just let me know in the comments who this one is. Next, I want these two out of fair, a Jigglypuff, and this Pikachu. I think this one is really good, well made. Then I got a Charizard. Talking Detective Pikachu plush. I got this when the movie came out. <laughs> It can't really finish what it's saying. Next, we got the Detective Pikachu Psyduck plush. The voice box still works, but you can barely hear it. Can you hear this? I heard it, but I don't think you would have. Next, we got a Pokeball and a Master Ball. There, that is all of my Pokemon plushies. Now we're moving on to Sonics. And these are what I have before I show you. This is my first Sonic I got. I want it on an arcade and it's a bootleg as well. I customized it into Sonic EXE, which you probably saw in this video. Next, we got the Big Toy Factory Movie Sonic plush, the first Sonic plush. This is a custom I made. I tried turning it into Super Sonic, but it didn't really look good. Here's what it used to look like. Jack Specific Modern Sonic plush, which I customized with the Sonic X Smile and I gave him the soap shoes. Then we got the Jack Specific Movie Sonic, Jack Specific Super Sonic plush, which I made the eyes red. And here's the GE Modern Sonic plush. And I think this is a bootleg because the smile and eyes aren't printed, they're sewn. Or maybe I'm wrong, I think GE has like a different kind of way of making plushies. I don't know for sure, but I'm not getting the one with the printed eyes. Now starting with the Tails, here's the bootleg Tails plush, but I customized it. Jack specific classic Tails plush. I tried making it modern Tails, as you can see there's a little bit of blue in his eyes. Jack specific movie Tails plush. And we got the GE Tails plush. Same thing I said as my GE Sonic, I don't know if this is official or just another way of making plushies because of the way his eyes and mouth are sewn. Moving on to Knuckles, we have the Small Tommy Knuckles plush. I think this is really good. Jack Specific Classic Knuckles plush, but I turned it into modern. I don't know why I did that. And we got GE Classic Knuckles plush, and this is official. And last Knuckles, we have the Movie Knuckles plush. First, here's a custom shadow plush. I got a template from this YouTuber here, Blop. Go subscribe to him and GE Shadow Plush, and I still have the hang string on it. Okay, I only have two Eggmans, and they're both custom. First, I got Classic Eggman, and this plush I've been working on for three days, a custom Eggman made by Blop again. And now for my two Amy's, my GE Amy, and my custom Amy. Now for my last Sonic Plush characters, Jack Specific, Mighty, and Ray. Okay, that's it for Sonics. Now the last thing I'm gonna show you, my extra plush characters from video games. First of all, my Among Us plushies. The red one's custom because I, I lost the red one. And for some reason it came with two oranges and they both had Christmas hats. So I took one hat off of it and I left one on the other one. Next we got my Fall Guys plush I got from GameStop. My Jumbo Toon Link plush. 
my mini Toon Link and my two Zelda and they're both the same size. Then I got Breath of the Wild Link and Tingle. Okay, my only Star Fox character I have is Peppy. It's from World of Nintendo, by the way. Now for Friday Night Funkin' and Sir Pello characters. Boyfriend, Girlfriend, Pico. This one's custom, by the way. Skid and Pump. And my only Fire Emblem plush I have is Marth. And here's a custom Pac-Man puppet I made. It used to be just a normal Pac-Man plush, but me and my cousin made this into a custom, like, modern Pac-Man. And this is what it looks like when it talks. My only two Kirby characters I have are Kirby and King DDD. And I got Joker from Persona 5 because he's in Smash Bros. And I wanted to get this out of plush back in 2019. My only two Splatoon plushies I have are the Inkling Girl and Inkling Boy Squids. And I have Freddy Fazbear here. This is my only FNAF plush I have. And my only Animal Crossing characters I have are Isabelle. Yep, she has like jingle bells on her hair. KK Slider and Tom Nook, which is from World of Nintendo. Alright, this is now my entire plush collection. If you have any questions about these plushies, let me know in the comments. We'll see you what 2023 brings. See ya.